Hey, good morning everyone. Um, we're here at Haley Lake, right behind the library. That's Collier Real Library right there. You come through there and you come down. You can go park right there and fish those bushes right there. Or you can come down here and fish right over here. I've been fishing that area where that gentleman over there for a long time. I also fished over those uh, bushes in there. I don't have my boots today and I want to focus on this area here today. It looks very, very, very quiet. It's actually late for fishing. So what we're going to do is we're going to just focus on this area here. I've caught um, a two pounder or two and a half pounder right there. I caught a four and a half over there. I caught a bunch of twos and ones over where that gentleman is. This is for the sake of just knowing this lake right here. So there used to be like man-made kind of trails, right? This is probably one of them. And you go down there, there's another one somewhere here that I've created. And I think it used to be right here because what I do is I go to, there's like a little edge. So like, it's not straight, right? So it comes around and he comes back down. And in that little kind of edge or curve, that's where the fish hides most of the time. And I caught my biggest one in there and I caught a bunch of twos and threes in there. But now I do not have my boots today and the trails have disappeared. I think this is one of them right here. But look at that, I had food, food poisoning. I had a poison IV reaction one time. Here's another one, takes you straight down. So this area here is full of fish. You can catch big fish in here. But since I don't have my boots with me today and it's hot and the trails are gone, I'm not risking it. What I would do instead is I'll go around and maybe cast towards it. So what I usually do is I come right here, see right beside it. See, this is the view and I'll cast over there and bring over. And then sometimes I'll stand right on top of that or next to it and I'll cast over there and over there. So let's start small. See, this is what you're gonna get into um, fishing here. This is nasty, just to let you know. Well, uh, I don't have anything to wipe my hands with. It is super heavy, like I thought I was snagged on a piece of wood or something. A branch, tree branch or something. Ugh. Oh man, it stinks, it really does. All right guys, so this is Johnson, WC Johnson Park, right over there. That's Behalia, Wolf River, and Behalia. So you come, if Wolf River come in this way, you get to Behalia, you make left, and you come right here, you park in the first parking spot. This lake right here, that's where they stock the uh, trout in January, December and January. There's a lake right behind it that has no fish in there. And then there's a fish, I mean, there's another one that we're gonna walk a little bit of distance where those ladies are running. Yeah, they put about a thousand trout each time. So that's 2,000 trout, but people just abuse them, man. They just wipe them out. And it's drying, look at that. The water usually comes all the way up here. It is drying up, everywhere is drying. Hmm. This is actually my favorite place for trout fishing in this area and that area right there. I always set up in here and I cast that way 
All right, this one, um, I see some stuff in there going on right now, but I don't know if that's bass. A lot of people said, ah, oh, there's some bass in here and all that stuff, right? It looks promising though, it looks good, right? But, um, don't know, didn't fish it long enough to know if there's actually fish in here or not. Why don't we do this? Just to test the waters, right? Just to see what's out there. Let's throw the small baby. It goes pretty far though, so, which is a good thing. Let's make sure it's not tangled anywhere. Yep. All right, we're gonna cast right over there. And we're gonna cast over there and see what happens. How much you want a bit, I'm gonna get snagged on something. All right, there goes nothing. All right, let's go see the other lake. So, very dry. I don't know what this is, a river system or something. Very dry. It looks like the land is actually um, sliding in here. It is the lake. All right, so before you couldn't see it from here. Yeah, you could not see it from here. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, how do I get there? All right, this is going to be wild. This is going to be wild, guys. Oh, should have brought my boots. Should have brought my boots. All right. All right, so I see some man-made trails in here. I am not going that way. I am not going. Takes you behind these trees. Ah, should have known better, man. Boots, pants. Now you know. All right, let's see if I can find any type of entrance. Or a trail. There's another one. All right, let's follow this one, see what happens. Oh man, boots, boots, guys, boots, pants. All right, let's see. All right, here's the drop. Yeah, this is good, all right. You just gotta be super duper careful right here. Have some good legs, some good balance, some good shoes. Still, yeah, this is good. But this is the only spot I've seen so far, okay. Let's try here. So this is it guys, this is it. Oh, whoa. I am going to play with so many different baits. Oh, look at that, look at that. The best place is a cross. It's cross for me, right there where there's like some trees in the water. That's where you want to be. Oh, no. No freaking way guys. No freaking way, guys. This is happening right there. I should have known. I should have seen this one first. Man, this is worms, swim baits, everything goes here. I'm going to target that place as much as I can. Do you see it or not? That, that Those bushes right there? Holy crap, bro. I'm going to get snagged. I'm going to lose some, some lures for sure. But definitely that's a place for it. A bass will be hiding. Here we go. There we go. Oh, it's a freaking snag. <sighs> and that two on the same thing. All right, this looks good. This looks good. All right. We're gonna try there, and hopefully we won't get snagged. Right there. I saw some movement in there. It's not deep. 
Oh yeah. Oh my God, this is a good one, guys. This is a freaking good one. This is a good one. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Yeah. Oh, this is a freaking good one. This is a good one, guys. Let's not make the mistake that I made last time. Let's give it a little bit of line. Let's give it a little bit of line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give it a drag. Guys, this is a good one. Guys, I'm not losing this one. I am not losing this one, guys. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Guys. Oh, my God. Did I, did I, did I tell you? It was a good spot for fish. Didn't I tell you? Hmm? Didn't I tell you this was a good spot? Hmm? Oh, right on the left. And again, it's not the swim bait. Oh, there you go. It's not the swim bait. It's the worm. Wow, it was worth coming this way. It's 303, man. Wow, and he comes to the release. Here comes the release. Bye bye. Thank you. It was not on the swim bait. It was not on the swim bait. There you go. Three of seven. Still there. Pound. Yep. Make sure it's a pound. Nice. I got one. Yeah. It's a really good one too. Oh jumping, jumping, jumping. No, no, don't wrap me up. Come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at that. First first cast. Yeah, first first cast, yeah. Got three out and two out. Nice. So if you need I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I, I hate to take your stuff. Right. So much stuff. So much stuff wasn't even funny. <laughs> I, mean, I do have a lot of rods and things like that that I need to uh, to get rid of. I, here comes the release, guys. All right, let's put them down here. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Whoa, don't you splash me, man. The other way. Now, one thing I want to show you guys, uh, for those people that have small cars like mine, so I just want to show you what I do. Um, here's some like five or six rods, right? So all I do is I put sleeves on them so I don't break them, right? And then I slide them through here and then I put them on top of both seats, the back and the front seat, and they sit on top of the dashboard in there. It works like a charm.